What up, guys? Dan here, and I'm here to review the movie Kick-Ass. Now, Kick-Ass is about... Dale Lucy is an unnoticed high school student and comic book fan who one day decides to become a superhero even though he has no power training or meaningful reason to do so. Now, Kick-Ass is starring Aaron Jackson Taylor, um, Chloe Moretz, Christopher Plass, Evan Peters, Clark Duke, and Lindsay Fortega. And Nicolas Cage. Now, what did I think of the movie? I absolutely adore this movie to death. I had watched this maybe, maybe I'm over exaggerating, but maybe over a hundred times. This movie is one of those movies you can just come watch over and over and over again. It is just in a phenomenal film. It's probably one of my top, probably top or favorite superhero movie just so much fun. You just have a fun time, a smile on your face the whole time. Now, let me get to the cast. The cast, Aaron Johnson, was amazing. He's so likable, just the way he acts, so nerdy and kind of, I don't know how, I don't know how, how this nerdy and I guess just awkward and all that stuff is just awesome, and he, I don't know, he just, I relate to Dave Luzki and Kick-Ass so much, just because me being a comic book fan, I'm always kind of thinking about those ideas, having those ideas, and having my head up in the cloud a lot, and also, and don't forget, and Chloe Moretz was awesome, she's just a badass, kicking ass all over the world, all over the world in this movie, it's, I mean, all over the place in this movie, whatever, she's just killing everybody, stabbing everyone, thugs, it's just, Amazing. Nicholas Cage is so over the top, but over the top great because it is hilarious how he acts. Like Adam West is Batman. It's just an amazing thing what he does. And Christopher Met Plast is really, really good as Red Miss. And he's just Christopher Met Plast went so far since super bad to this. It's just great. Oh, man, I forget, don't forget Mark, I can't forget Mark Strong. He's just a phenomenal villain. He, he showed how f evil he can be, how funny he can be. Everything is perfect in this movie. I had literally, I'm trying to figure out what, if they had a problem. I don't know if I had a problem with this movie. That, it wasn't longer. How about that? It maybe it could not, maybe if it went too long, people will complain. But for me, I wish, I don't know, I'm just so pumped for Kick-Ass 2 when it comes out. Sadly, I'm not going to see the weekend opening. I'm going to see maybe the second week or the third week, hopefully. But I'm excited. If it's as good as Cats 1, this movie is going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. This movie is a 10 out of 10, without a doubt. I absolutely love this film. There's nothing wrong with this film, in my opinion. Okay, guys, I'll catch you later. That's my review of Cats. I'll guys, catch you later.